Red Skelton Show, brought to you by... The Red Skelton Show, with David Rose and his orchestra, and Red's guest star, Alan Jenkins. Yes. How about going south with me for the winter? Oh, no. I don't know. We're going south for the winter for the birds. <laughs> well, I'm hopping the, the 247 for Florida. How about? Oh, no, 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 no. I'll never ride another freight train as long as I live. Last time I hopped a freight, I was on my way to Miami, and I was on a load of fertilizer. And they turned me back at the border. <laughs> no more. I'm staying right here this winter. Freddy? If you stay up here, you'll freeze. No, 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 I won't. Hey, my fire's going out. My fire's going out. <laughs> I'm glad they found use for those old army blankets. <laughs> I had to stoke it myself. You know, helps hard to get, you know. <laughs> you'll freeze here, Freddy. No, no, I'm going to the same winter resort I go to every year. Where's that? The county jail. The county jail? Yes. Warm cells, soft mattresses, three square meals a day. Oh, I tell you, boy, that is real gracious living. <laughs> you make it sound great. It is. And tomorrow is Christmas. If I can get there in time, I can hang my stocking up with the rest of the fellas. First, I hope I don't find what I found in my stocking last year. What did you find in your stocking last year? Some other guy. <laughs> This fellow down there, they believe in community property, you know. Well, how are you planning to get in? Huh? Just walk up to the warden and say, Pardon me. Have you got a reservation for Freddy the Freeloader? No, no. If you want out, you say, Pardon me. When you want in, I have my own finesse. I go to a very exclusive restaurant, order the nicest things they've got on the menu. When the check comes, I tell them I'm broke. Then what happens? 30 days, half September, April, June, and Freddy the Freeloader. <laughs> well, joy Noel. Joy Noel. Arrivederci. <laughs> <laughs> 
That he is an eccentric millionaire in disguise. Eccentric millionaire in disguise? Well, that explains. Well, yeah. no wonder he's dressed like that. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> on, Lisa. What was it you were saying about the duck? Oh, I said it was delicious. But on second thought, I think a steak would be better for a skinny a dame like you. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> a skinny broad like you. <laughs> Witty, George. Yeah, you, Jerry. Oh. <laughs> Gashon, Gashon. My compliments to the chef. Thank you, sir. Hey. Would you care for some French pastry? Well, it's a rather large portion, but I'll eat it. <laughs> what I can of it. <laughs> Will there be uh, anything else, sir? Oh, yes. I would like some of your finest Havana cigars and your richest brandy. By all means. Yes, yes, yes. I beg your pardon. Be my guest. I'm sorry I didn't have time to gift wrap it. <laughs> oh, oh, you eccentric millionaire. Yeah, your mother's got a mush. <laughs> your brandy, sir. Oh, good heavens. Don't look now, but your goldfish got away. <laughs> These are floor de finos. Floor de finos? My, the kind I use, I usually find on the floral. <laughs> hey, those are delicious. Have you ever smoked this brand, sir? Oh, I don't know. I must have. I must have. <laughs> mm, I'll take some of those for later, too. They're really nice. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Your check, sir. Oh, there's a check, the check, the check. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> That's correct. My compliments to the cashier. Now, my good man, would you be kind enough to call a policeman? The policeman? Yes, you see, I'm broke. I don't have any money. But you said you were an eccentric millionaire. Well, that's only partly correct. That is the eccentric part. <laughs> but don't stand there. Go get the policeman. That's exactly what I'll do. I'll get the policeman. <laughs> What's been the trouble here? This phony millionaire, he ran up a big bill and he hasn't got a penny. Yes, yes that's why he's calling the police. Uh, you'll get 90 days for this. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> wait a minute, Charlie. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a moment. Now, tomorrow's Christmas. Yes. And it just doesn't seem right to throw anyone into jail on Christmas. Even a man like this. Oh, wait a minute. I demand you have me arrested. I have my rights. I'm a citizen. I'm a taxpayer. I don't have any receipts on me, but I want to get arrested. Not on Christmas Eve. Please, where's your Christmas spirit, Scrooge? <laughs> oh, just a moment. You can't. I've broken a law. You eccentric millionaire. Mm. <laughs> yourself. I hope that hat hatches out your head. <laughs> Good day. Oh, there was my phone. <laughs>
Don't discourage me, you know. Hey, here, throw that away. Don't you know it's unsanitary to smoke cigars out of a gutter? What? Here, try one of mine. What's that? That's a cigar. A whole one. Huh? That's the way they look when they're new. <laughs> what won't they think of next? Yes, yes. <laughs> How about it, Freddy? The 247 is still going to Florida. No, no, no. I've already made my plans for the winner. <laughs> but you didn't get arrested. I know, but there's more than one way of skinning a cat. Yes, sir, I'll figure out the... Oh, what's this? This will get me in but quick. Yep, there. Say, just a minute. <laughs> happens to be my umbrella. Oh, it is? Well, if that happens to be your umbrella, why don't you call a policeman and have me arrested? There's one right on the corner. Oh, you go tell the officer. officer. I'll call him. Yes, you go ahead. That is, um... Yeah. Oh, you know how mistakes can occur. What do you mean? Well, if it's, if it's your umbrella, um, well, you must excuse me. What do you mean? Uh, the fact of the matter is, I, I picked it up this morning uh, by, by accident in a barber shop. Oh, really? And well, if, if you recognize the yours, then you keep it. No, no, I don't. <laughs> well, that's what I get for dealing with crooks. <laughs> Moon over Miami. No, 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 you're not going to tip me. I'll get arrested yet. They haven't built the jail they can keep me out of. <laughs> see, I... Oh, say, hold that, would you? No, oh, I do believe I've died and gone to heaven. <laughs> yes, sir. What are you going to do? Well, I haven't been bowling for some time here. We got to... <laughs> Strike! <laughs> hey! I'm getting out of here. I ain't going to get mixed up in this. What do you mean? Here. Hey, police! Police! <laughs> Come on, you're not Here we are, right here. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm the one that broke your window, sir. Oh, are you kidding? People who break store windows don't hang around waiting to be arrested. Oh, you don't understand. Look. Come on, buddy. Beat I'm it. a menace. I'm I a menace. enough trouble. Go on, beat it. But I'm a menace. You don't understand. Oh, well. Got an umbrella out of it anyhow. <laughs> yeah. Inferior merchandise. <laughs> yeah, inferior merchandise. <laughs> These premises are protected against shoplifters by the Tracy burglar alarm. Well, at least they're smart. They get... Oh, open your gates, warden. I'm coming home tonight. <laughs> Thank you very much. I know you will love those pearls. And a Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. And a Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Thank you. How do you do, ma'am? Hello? I would be interested in a little jewelry. Well, if you'll excuse me, sir, I think you should know our merchandise is rather expensive. Money is of no object. No object whatsoever. Let's see some of those bracelets there. Could I please? Very well, sir, but you the bet. least expensive item on this tray is $11,000. Well, maybe we could make arrangements for some kind of a time payment. Like uh, 25 cents down and 15 cents a week. <laughs> <laughs> Say, that is a beauty, isn't it? Sir, that it's one is thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand. Well, that's inflation for you. I remember when you used to get these for twenty nine five. <laughs> <laughs> you have the earrings to go with this, do you? Excuse me. Oh, you bet. Mm -hmm. I'll be with you in a moment. Thank you. Thank that you. bracelet. What happened to that bracelet? Why, it seems to be missing, doesn't it? Oh. I'm afraid I'll have to call the manager. Yes, I, I'd do that if I were you. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. This is good. <laughs> well, I understand that a bracelet has disappeared. Correction, sir. Three bracelets have disappeared. And looks like you caught me with the goods. Red-handed you caught me. 
Oh, that is the police on their way, I hope. They <laughs> certainly are, Miss Wilson gave the alarm. Good thinking, good thinking, my little lady. And I'm sure that there'll be something extra in your pay envelope this week. <laughs> oh, you're very, very nice. So, you do admit that you stole those bracelets? What? Confidentially, sir, beneath this shabby suit is the shiniest pockets in town. Help <laughs> <laughs> yourself. It's empty. Yeah, it's deeper than you think. Go ahead. <laughs> there's nothing there. What do you mean? There's got to be. Try I tell again. you, young man, there is nothing in there. This is ridiculous. <laughs> nothing there. Nothing in there. My good man, when I tell you I'm a thief, don't you call me a liar. <laughs> Here's the crook, sir. I chased him all the way up the street. Oh, no. Yo, officer, you're arresting the wrong man. That's There's... what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. 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 Innocent, yeah. huh? Yeah. Well, here's the evidence. Good heavens, well, I've been robbed. <laughs> Why, you dirty little thief, you. Come along, Buster. You're going straight to jail. Hell, yeah, you. Yeah. Next thing you know, you'll be hanging on actors next. <laughs> you know, people have all the luck. The next time you bust a window, do it when I ain't there. Why, what's that happen? That cop chased me halfway to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you come back for? For my luggage. Oh. I got my Bermuda shorts in here. <laughs> well, I hope you have a nice trip, Muggsy. <laughs> well, thanks, Freddy. Uh, Are you sure you won't come along? <clears throat> After all, they got jails in Florida, too. Not like they've got up here. Look at this in the pa paper here. A brand new jail just been built, and they're having the dedication and opening. It's already open there. They got all the modern facilities, hot and cold running water. They got windows you can look out of without bars and stuff. It's really nice. But you know why they're keeping me out? They're filling it up with riffraff. <laughs> yeah! What a bunch of crummy-looking characters. No, no, no. That's the mayor and his altar. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boy, am I glad I'm going to Florida. Oh, yeah. Well, so long, Freddy. So long. Hope you get arrested. Oh, thank <laughs> you. And Merry Christmas to you, too. Fun boy, I... What a nice fella to wish me that. Isn't that nice? Oh, gee, that's friends. That's friends. Hello. <laughs> Masher gets three months for annoying woman in park. Hey, that sounds like a nice way to earn my stripes. <laughs> yes, sir, why not? I'll just debonair myself up here a little bit. And I'll be right here. How would you like to come over to my yard and play? Wow! <laughs> I'm so glad you talked to me, dearie. Oh, you no. know, I saw you when I sat down and I said to myself, Oh, Jamie, he's handsome. <laughs> you know, it's so nice to meet a gentleman in the city. Uh -huh. A young girl of 18 just can't be too careful. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you worry about them. You've got your own troubles. <laughs> You're not only charming, you're witty, too. I get <laughs> Oh, did my big handsome dreamboat hurt himself? Yeah, your big handsome dreamboat just scraped the barnacle a little. <laughs> Here, get something cold. Wait a minute, man. Now, uh, let me set you straight once and for all. I'm not the handsome gay debonair rascal that you seem to think I am. In reality, I'm nothing but a masher. I go through the park. And I pray for women. Stop talking and start praying. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I told you I was a masher, and I'll call a policeman. Oh, no. Please, madam, I insist that you call a policeman and have me taken to jail, which I so richly deserve. Never. I've waited all my life to find you. Well, and now that I've found you, I won't let you go. 
Joe. Okay, break it up, you two. Yeah. I've been watching you, you masher. You said it, Officer Masher. Do your duty. I certainly will. Yes. Yeah. Now get along, girlie, before I run you in. <laughs> it's getting so a man ain't safe in the park anymore. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Pardon me, officer. Yeah? What would happen to a man that physically assaulted an officer of the law? Why, he'd get thrown in a clink so fast that it'd make his head spin. You don't say. <laughs> carry on, carry on. Tie your shoe there. It's kind of... Oh, boy, get ready for the moon you're going. <laughs> hey, hey, what happened to you? I stepped on a banana peel. A banana peel? Yes. People that throw banana peels on the ground ought to be arrested. They certainly should. Why don't you report? They should be arrested. Here, I did it. Look. And I did it again. <laughs> then it serves you right. You fell on your own banana peel. Boy, that's a riot. That's really a hot one. <laughs> but, officer, you don't seem to understand. <laughs> no. Your faces just ain't my day. <laughs> caught turning in false alarms will get 90 days in jail five hundred dollar fine or both hey not only can i go to jail i can pick up some money <laughs> <laughs> When I stopped by here a few minutes ago, I was what you might call a failure. I, a, a hobo I was. No ambition. My only ambition was to get arrested and spend the winter in jail. <laughs> but that music made a new man out of me. I think it's too late. I could probably start all over, get myself a job, make something out of myself. Become a nice, respectable citizen. Go to a nice church like this. I can do it. I will, too. You what? <laughs> if you really want a job, mister, my father has a factory over in Third Street. He's always looking for help. You mean that? Oh, sure. Oh, well, you tell your dad I'll be over there the first thing tomorrow morning, would you? Okay, mister. Oh. Just ask for Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson. Nice to meet you, Mr. Johnson, too. Oh, Merry Christmas, little boy. Hey, yo! Merry Christmas, officer. Merry Christmas. What are you doing around here? Oh, nothing. As a matter of fact, I haven't done anything in about 25 years. Ah, just as I thought. Vagrancy. Well, what? that'll get you about 90 days in jail. Oh, no. no. Come along. Oh, no, no. Look. Come along. I don't need you now. <laughs> Look, you just seem... oh, could you give me just one minute, you know? Well, all right. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Say, would you tell your father that I won't be able to keep that appointment until next spring? But keep the job open, because I'll be there. Okay, mister. Again, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, little fella. And don't forget about the job. Please call my father. Merry Christmas, mister. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, sonny. Merry Christmas. This is Gary Moore, our Christmas show with Mahalia Jackson, Eddie Hodges, Henry Morgan, and special guest Cliff Arquette will start in a moment, so stay tuned, won't you?